In the vastness of the nighttime sky, a sparkling veil of stars stretches above us. Since ancient times, gazing at the sky has been a source of mystery and inspiration. Every culture sees patterns and stories in the stars, creating constellations that reflect their myths and legends. This millennium-old connection to the cosmos raises a fundamental question. Do the first stars that shone in the universe still exist? When we observe the stars, we are looking back in time. The light from a distant star may have traveled millions or even billions of years before reaching our eyes. It's a window into the universe's past, but does it allow us to see so far back as to witness the birth of the stars? The quest for answers takes us on a celestial journey. With the evolution of technology, what began with naked eye observations has evolved into the use of advanced telescopes. Now, we can see far beyond the familiar constellations, delving deep into the cosmos and its origins. Constellations and telescopes, revealing stellar truths. Constellations formed by patterns of stars are like landmarks in the night sky. They have guided us for millennia, but they are just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. With the invention of the telescope, a new dimension of the universe unfolded before us. Stars that appeared to be mere points of light revealed themselves as complex and diverse worlds. Through telescopes, we discovered that stars vary in color, size, and age. These celestial observatories allowed us to map distant galaxies, nebulae, and even phenomena like black holes. But the question remains, among these myriads of stars, could the first one still be shining? These tools not only expand our vision, but also help us understand the physics of stars. Each telescopic observation is a piece of a larger puzzle, helping us decipher the history and evolution of the universe. The Dance of the Stars Diversity in the Universe The universe is a vast and dynamic stage where stars perform a cosmic dance. Some are born, others die, and all follow a cycle that reflects the incredible diversity of the cosmos. This diversity is crucial to understanding if the first stars might still be out there. There are stars of all shapes and sizes, from red dwarfs that lead long and quiet lives to blue giants that are ephemeral and explosive. This variety is like different characters in a story, each playing their role in the universe's narrative. These different types of stars have different lifespans. While some can exist for billions of years, others burn through their nuclear fuel quickly. So the quest for the first stars is also a quest to understand their longevity and survival over cosmic time. Giants and dwarfs, the stellar spectrum. In the stellar spectrum, we find a wide range of stars from giants to dwarfs. Giants, such as red supergiants, are massive and luminous, but their grandeur comes at a price, a relatively short life. They burn through their nuclear fuel quickly, leading to explosive deaths as supernova. On the other hand, dwarfs, especially red dwarfs, are smaller and cooler. They burn their fuel slowly, giving them remarkable longevity. These modest stars can shine for trillions of years, far beyond the lifespan of larger stars. The question of the first stars intertwines with this spectrum. Were the first stars ephemeral giants destined for a brief existence, or could they have been smaller, longer-lasting stars still shining in some distant corner of the universe? Life and Death of Stars The Cosmic Cycle Every star in the universe follows a cycle of life and death, a process that helps us understand the possibility of the first star's survival. This cycle begins with the formation of a star from clouds of gas and dust. Under the right conditions, these clouds collapse under their own gravity, initiating nuclear fusion in the star's core. A star's life is largely determined by its mass. Massive stars live fast and die young, exploding in supernovae that scatter heavy elements throughout the cosmos. 
These explosions are crucial as they sow the universe with the ingredients necessary for the formation of new stars and, eventually, planets and life. Smaller stars, like our Sun, have a longer and less dramatic trajectory. They expand to become red giants and eventually contract into white dwarfs. Understanding these cycles allows us to begin unraveling the mystery of the first stars, their nature, life, and the legacy they left behind in the tapestry of the universe. The birth of the first stars, the dawn of the universe. In the early days of the universe, after the Big Bang, a deep darkness prevailed. The cosmos was a dense soup of elementary particles, a place without light. This period, known as the Dark Ages, ended with the birth of the first stars, called Population the Three Stars. These stars were unlike the ones we know today. Composed only of hydrogen and helium, the lightest and most abundant elements, they were gigantic and incredibly hot. These primordial stars illuminated the universe, transforming it. Their powerful light began to break the hydrogen nebulae around them, a process called reionization. This was a crucial moment, marking a fundamental transformation in the universe, setting the stage for future generations of stars and galaxies. But the lives of these giant stars were short. They burned through their fuel quickly and died in spectacular explosions, scattering heavy elements into the cosmos. These elements would be the building blocks for the formation of new stars, planets, and eventually life. The question remains, have some of these first-generation stars survived to this day? Searching for Giants, the quest for ancient stars. The search for the first stars is one of the great adventures of modern astronomy. Astronomers around the world are scouring the sky, looking for these cosmic relics. One of the main clues they seek are spectral signatures, specific patterns of light that can reveal a star's composition. The first stars, composed only of hydrogen and helium, would have a very different spectrum than younger stars that contain heavier elements. This challenge is immense. The first stars, if they still exist, are very distant and extremely rare. To complicate matters, the universe is constantly expanding, stretching and shifting the light from these stars, a phenomenon known as redshift. Finding a population of three star would be like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack, but astronomers are equipped with increasingly powerful telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which could be the key to unlocking this mystery. Arendelle and the Mystery of Distant Stars Recently, an exciting breakthrough occurred with the discovery of a star called Arendelle. Observed by the Hubble Space Telescope, Arendelle shines from an era very close to the birth of the first stars. Observing this star was made possible thanks to a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, where the gravity of a massive object, such as a galaxy, bends the light from more distant objects, magnifying them in our field of view. Arendelle is a glimpse of what we hope to find when searching for the first stars. It offers valuable clues about what these ancient stars were like, how they lived, and how they died. However, even Arendelle is not a true population the three star. Although ancient and massive, it still contains traces of heavy elements, indicating that it is not one of the first generations of stars. The search continues. Death of stars, the birth of black holes, the death of a star is as fascinating as its life. For the massive stars of the first generations, death was often violent and spectacular. They exploded as supernovae, events so powerful that for a brief moment, a single star could shine brighter than an entire galaxy. These explosions were crucial for the evolution of the universe as they scattered elements necessary for the formation of new stars, planets, and life. Some of these massive stars did not end their lives as supernovae, but collapsed under their own gravity, forming black holes. These are objects so dense 
that not even light can escape their gravity. The black holes from the first stars could be the precursors of the supermassive black holes found at the centers of many galaxies, including our own. Studying these phenomena gives us clues about the ultimate fate of the first stars. If some have survived, they may have evolved into exotic forms, such as isolated black holes silently traveling through space. Red Dwarf Stars – Cosmic Survivors In contrast to the brief lives of the first giant stars, red dwarf stars represent the opposite end of the stellar spectrum. These stars are small, cool, and incredibly long-lived. In fact, no red dwarf that existed at the beginning of the universe would have ended its life yet. They can live for trillions of years, far longer than the current age of the universe. Red dwarfs are common stars in the present-day universe, but they were not prevalent in the early generations of stars. However, the possibility that some population the three stars may have been small enough to survive to the present day cannot be completely ruled out. If they exist, these would be the true veterans of the cosmos, silent witnesses to the universe's evolution since its earliest moments. The search for red dwarf stars that may be of population the Thury origin is challenging. They are small and faint, making them difficult to detect, especially if they are among the oldest and most distant stars. However, finding one of these stars would be like discovering a cosmic treasure, offering a unique window into the universe's early days. The Legacy of Supernova, Seeding the Galaxy the supernovae of the first stars were not only spectacular, they were crucial for the evolution of the universe. The explosion scattered heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, iron, and others into the interstellar space. These elements are the building blocks of planets and, fundamentally, of life. Every iron atom in our blood, every particle of oxygen we breathe, has its origin in the furnaces of stars that exploded long ago. We are literally made of stardust. Understanding the supernovae of the first stars is, therefore, understanding our own cosmic origins. Furthermore, supernovae also played a role in the formation of new stars. The shock waves from these explosions can compress nearby clouds of gas and dust helping trigger the formation of new stars. Thus, the cycle of stellar life and death continues, a legacy that began with the first stars and continues to this day. Stellar Archaeology – Unveiling Cosmic History The search for the first stars is akin to archaeology, where each discovery helps us piece together the history of the universe. Astronomers are like cosmic detectives, analyzing the light from stars to unearth secrets from bygone eras. This stellar archaeology seeks faint and rare signs of population the three stars, which would be the oldest and most primitive. Each star has a unique fingerprint in the light it emits. Through spectral analysis, scientists can identify a star's composition, age, and even its life trajectory. The big question is, is there any population the three star that has survived to our era? If so, it would be a direct window to the early chapters of the universe's history. Finding such an ancient star among billions of younger stars is a monumental challenge. It requires not only advanced technology, but also a deep understanding of how the universe has evolved since the Big Bang. Each new discovery brings us a little closer to the answer, shedding light on the path in our quest for cosmic origins. Population the Three, the ghosts of the universe. Population the Three stars are like ghosts from the primordial universe. We know they existed, but capturing them is an incredibly difficult task. They would have been vast, luminous, and composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium the most basic elements created in the Big Bang. These stars would have been responsible for forging the first heavy elements, which became the foundation for everything we know. Despite not having found a population the three stars so far, the search continues. 
Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope have the potential to observe farther and with greater clarity than ever before, perhaps even identifying the light from these ancient stars. Their study could revolutionize our understanding of star formation and the evolution of the universe. The discovery of a population for three star would be a historic milestone, offering a direct connection to the universe in its infancy. The search for them is a quest for our cosmic roots, an effort to understand how the universe and everything in it began. The future of the search, technology, and hope. The future of the search for the first stars is bright, driven by technological advancements and an unwavering passion for the unknown. Telescopes, both on Earth and in space, are becoming more powerful, allowing us to look deeper into space and time. In addition to optical telescopes, radio astronomy and the detection of gravitational waves are opening new avenues to explore the early universe. These technologies may help us detect the indirect signatures of the first stars, such as the impact they had on the surrounding gas. Each new tool and each new observation brings us closer to answering whether the first stars are still out there. This quest is not only for scientific knowledge, but also for a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. It is a journey fueled by human curiosity and wonder in the face of the universe. Reflecting on the stars, cosmic and human connection, the search for the first stars is more than a scientific quest. It is a reflection on our own existence. By looking at the stars, we are witnessing the unfolding history of the universe. We are connected to these stars not only through the light we see, but also through the elements that make up our bodies. This stellar journey reminds us of how vast and wondrous the universe is and how small our part in it is. At the same time, it shows us that we are made of the same material as the stars and that we are intrinsically linked to the cosmos. The first stars may or may not be out there, but the search for them teaches us about the nature of the universe and our place in it. It inspires us to keep looking at the sky, seeking answers, seeking connection, seeking to understand the great mystery of our cosmic existence.